Hi everybody and welcome to 100 sit-ups in 30 days. So why is it so important to commit to doing 100 sit-ups for 30 days? Well beyond the actual physical work of working the abdominal muscles, by doing something for 30 days you raise an awareness. So the idea is that yeah 100 sit-ups may not change everything in your life but if you have an awareness that you're going to do 100 sit-ups every day it changes everything else that affects your abs. So commit to 100 sit-ups for 30 days and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's not just about the strength of the muscles, it's about raising an awareness that you're always thinking about that next workout. And it does affect your diet, it affects your workouts, and it affects your lifestyle. I promise, try it out, you'll for see. For today's workout, I'm gonna be using a 14 pound, three minute ab ball. But use any weight you want. So let's get started. Now a lot of my workouts, I tell people to anchor their feet with something. So grab something, anything, you can put it between your feet there and hold on to it if it's heavy enough, or stick your feet under it. Once again, have somebody sit on your feet and you guys can swap back and forth and you both get 100 reps in. So, first thing we're gonna do today is touch the weight over the head, bring it up slightly, and just sit up. And keep the weight up there. We're going for 25 of these. So it's three. Keep it up there. Four. Roll the shoulders back. Five. Six. Punch it to the sky. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, go at your own pace with all of these workouts. 11, 12, 13, 14. The good thing about using the weight also is that it's like a, like a counterbalance. It helps you stay centered for 17, 18, reach for it, 19, 20, Five, punch it up there. Four, three, two, and one. To the chest, try to keep it as close to your chin as you can, but anywhere up in this chest area is good. So crunch it up to the knees and back down. Two, this is a lot like a standard setup, but by adding the weight, it increases the intensity a lot. Six, seven. Because remember, working your ab muscles is no different. That's nine. Then work at any other muscle. Ten. You have to get resistance training or add some weight to it to grow that muscle. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Roll back and sit up straight. 17, 18, 19, 20. And keep breathing. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Stretch overhead. I know keep breathing sounds like an obvious statement, but especially with ab work, you do tend to hold your breath. So here we go. Leave the weight where it's at. Sit up, twist right and left. Back down. Left and right. Back down. And just alternate. Three. Four. Nice. Five. Twist. Six. Yeah. Seven. Twist. Eight. Twist, nine, twist, 10. Switch sides as often as you can, 11, 12, 13. Working the obliques, 14, 15. Simple movement but works very well, 16, 17. Left, right, 18, right, left, 19, left, right, 20, right, left, 21, 22, 23, oh yeah, I like these, 24, and then last one, 25. Okay, grab your weight again, once again, especially for this one. Because all we're going to do is lift our hips off the ground. And having that weight 
over your head is a great counterbalance. Believe me, try it without it, you'll see the difference. So, weight up, legs up, and it's not a big lift, it's just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna slow down a little here because I'm kind of rocking. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, shoulder off the ground, 14, 15, 16, 17, oh yeah, 18, 19, 20, five, it's a little movement with a lot of impact, three, two, oh one, Big stretch overhead. Ah, feels great. Okay, once again, 100 reps a day for 30 days. It raises an awareness of your abdominal area, which affects your diet, your exercise, and everything else. So commit to those 30 workouts, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Have a great night. We'll see you next time.